As part of his planned overhaul of the federal government, President-elect Trump has repeatedly vowed to abolish the Department of Education. That call has been echoed by Oklahoma's top educator, State Superintendent of Public Instruction, Ryan Walters. He is calling for Elon Musk and Vivek Ramaswamy to close the department on, quote, day one. And in the wake of Trump's win, he announced the creation of a new Department of Religious Freedom and Patriotism in the state. Here's some of that announcement. For too long in this country, we've seen the radical left attack individuals' religious liberty in our schools. We've also seen patriotism mocked and a hatred for this country pushed by woke teachers unions. We will not tolerate that in any school in Oklahoma. Walters is requiring that all public schools in the state show students that video, which includes him leading a prayer for President-elect Trump. It's a mandate that several districts have already said they are disregarding. And that pushback comes as Walters is already facing two lawsuits stemming from his earlier mandate that schools incorporate the Bible into lesson plans in grades 5 through 12. Last week, he also announced the purchase of 500 Bibles, which appear to be the Trump-endorsed God Bless the USA version for use in classrooms across the state. Ryan Walters is joining us now. I really appreciate you coming on to have this important discussion. As you know, your state's attorney general's office says you don't have the authority for this mandate to play that prayer video. So what authority do you have to mandate schools to show your prayer video where you also pray for President-elect Trump? Look, I've continued to hear the gaslighting from the left um, and frankly, even from this network pushing lies about what's going on across America. President Trump has a clear mandate. He wants prayer back in school. He wants radical leftism out of the classroom, wants our kids to be patriotic, want parents back in charge with school choice. We are enacting upon that agenda here in Oklahoma. That's what our parents want. Every county in Oklahoma voted for President Trump. His agenda is crystal clear, and we're going to enact it in the state of Oklahoma. I'm not going to take the bait on what you said about gaslighting from this network on this. I'm asking you a specific question. Where is your authority specifically coming from? As you know, thousands of people, including parents who signed a petition to impeach you with more than 14,000 signatures at last check, say this is government overreach and you're taking control away from local parents, local school boards and parents over their kids. What do you say to that? And where is your authority coming from to enforce this prayer video to be played in schools? You know, I appreciate you pushing that left-wing narrative here, but here's the reality. It's the not Constitution, a left-wing narrative. I'm literally talking about a petition uh, that parents have signed that's gotten more than 14,000 signatures I that have raised this issue. It's pretty clear on religious liberty. The Constitution's crystal clear on religious liberty. I know the left doesn't want our kids to know anything about the role the Bible played in American history. They don't want any of our kids to know about the Constitution. Our religious liberties are protected, and the left has driven the Bible out of schools, driven prayer out of schools, and everything in education has gotten worse since. Before we had a federal department of education and we had the Bible and prayer in school, guess what? We were leading the free world. This was the greatest country in the world, and we have seen every statistic gotten has gotten worse since the creation of the Federal Department of Education and the Supreme Court pulled the Bible and prayer out of schools. President Trump has won on this issue. He has a crystal clear mandate. It's what Americans want. It's what Oklahomans want. And so we're going to deliver on those uh, on President Trump's promises here in Oklahoma. All right. First of all, the Constitution is not crystal clear on that. It doesn't have God in it. There is this establishment clause in the First Amendment, which the Supreme Court has routinely said uh, it requires the separation of church and state and public schools. There are many cases that there are. Hold on. I'm speaking. There are many cases where the Supreme Court has routinely ruled on that. You went after woke teachers and the radical left in your announcement for attacking religious liberty. But your critics are saying that by requiring Bibles in every classroom and requiring this prayer video, you're trying to impose your religion on students in violation of the Establishment Clause. They say the Constitution, scholars say the Constitution is crystal clear on freedom of religion, not enforcing one religion, your religion, on students. What do you say? Look, CNN doesn't have to like it. Uh, Left-wing activists don't have to like I'm it. I'm just but talking about facts. It's not my opinion. Document. The Bible is a historical document. You can't rewrite history, okay? The reality is, is the Bible was what drove so much of so many of the consequential events in American history. Why'd the pilgrims come to America? 
why in the world did Abraham Lincoln mention God and God's providence in so many of his speeches? How do you explain Martin Luther King Jr.'s letter from a Birmingham jail where he goes through biblical examples if the left continues to censor the Bible from our history classes? Listen, the left doesn't have to like it. They can be offended by it, but we've got to teach history to our young people to make this country great again. President Trump has a clear mandate. Our kids have to understand what made America great in the first place. And obviously the Bible, the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence are indispensable in understanding the story of America. I'm not saying that the Bible isn't an important part of understanding this. What I'm saying is your critics, including a lot of parents, are saying you're trying to enforce your religion, um, your specific religion, Christianity, onto students, not just by requiring Bibles in every classroom, but also by requiring this prayer video as well, uh, where you also pray for, for Donald Trump. Just last week, this federal judge ruled it's unconstitutional for the Ten Commandments to be shown in the classroom. How is what you're trying to do different? Well, it's a, it's a radical federal judge way out of step with the American people and the Constitution. Here's the reality. We have the right to express our religious beliefs. We absolutely do. That doesn't stop at a schoolhouse. I was crystal clear in there. We're not telling kids they have to pray, but we are telling kids they have the right to pray if they so choose. That is what fr the free expression of your religious beliefs means. And the left has driven that out of schools because of their hatred for Christianity and people of faith. President Trump has been clear. I, We're I gonna I think that's fair to say that they hate they hate people of Christianity or people of faith. The critics who are, are and I'm, I'm specifically talking about those who have signed this impeachment form for you, those school districts who aren't showing this, their concern is that it's coercive and that, you know, look, you're talking about how important the Bible is in U.S. history and the founding of the country, um, but this was a country that was not founded on a specific religion. And that if, if you are really, if it's important to talk about religious texts and how it, how it weaves into the history of the U.S., then why not also include the, the Quran? Why not also include the Book of Mormon? Um, why not also include these other religious texts? Well, let's talk about this for a second. Everyone who signed that list, everybody suing me, they're the same people that want gender, queer, and flamer in the classroom under the guise That's of- That's not necessarily true. Yes, you, you're, no, you're, you are painting everyone with a broad brush. <laughs> I know the litigants in the case. The ACLU sued me on both. Southern Poverty Law Center. The reality is these people want radical gender pornography in the classroom, but they don't want but the Bible. But they would say the Bible has pornography and oh, uh, incest oh, really? and rape. So what do you so say you to that? Bible, you think the Bible's on the same plane as gender? I'm not and saying that. That's not what I'm saying. I mean, that's laughable. The Bible's the most read book in American history, and the left doesn't want our kids to know anything about it. They don't want the kids to understand that it played a huge role in American history. That is academic malpractice. We have to get back to teaching American exceptionalism, American values, where those things came from. That's just history, and the left doesn't but have to like you're not answering my question about these with other religious texts. If that is your reason, if you were like, I want our students to learn about the founding of this country, and the Bible played a big role in, in, in that, then why not include other religious texts that also throughout history played a role, such as, as I pointed out, the Book of Mormon, such as, you know, uh, the Quran. Sure, look, in a world history class, you can absolutely talk about those, but let's be clear, in American history, the Bible played a unique role in shaping this history, and you said no religion. Thomas Jefferson said our rights came from God, and again, look, maybe we all need to go back and study some of this, especially on CNN, to understand the- Hold on, the Thomas Jefferson rejected part of Christian doctrine. Thomas Jefferson promoted freedom of religion. One of his top three accomplishments on his gravestone is promoting a law in Virginia for the freedom of religion. So if you want to, and then if, if John Adams, would you say that John Adams is a key founder of the United States? Do you think he is? Okay. Absolutely. Talked about John Adams opinion. signed a treaty in 1797 saying the government of the United States of America is not in any sense founded on the Christian religion. So, look, right. I'm not, we've got, listen. You know, we've got to get you in an Oklahoma history class because the next line is- oh, that, Well, is then let's to, talk about Oklahoma history because Oklahoma is 48th in the country when it comes to education. It's ranked 48th in the country. Your critics say the money that you're spending on the Bible, I'm putting Bibles in every classroom, you've asked for $6 million should be spent in other ways to better educate the students because they're very worried about where Oklahoma is ranked in the education system. What do you say to that? Hey, we, we are in the middle of a turnaround here because we are following President Trump's agenda. This is the agenda for the entire country. We have school choice, we have merit pay. We are rejecting this left-wing ideology in the classroom 
We are promoting American exceptionalism. Look, we are pressing students forward to see academic outcomes improve. We've seen record improvement. Record numbers of schools are improving here in Oklahoma. That's what you're going to see for the whole country under President Trump. And again, you continue to see critics. Yeah, they act like I'm controversial because I'm creating change in a status quo system that has failed kids and failed parents for decades. President okay. Trump but is they would absolutely. Say, well, then, if you're turning it around, the millions of dollars should be spent on other ways to educate the children. But let me just ask you one last question. As I pointed out in this segment, the books you bought from what you raised in your Twitter handle, I just saw a link to that, was, was the, the Trump endorsed Bible. Um, that's $60 a pop. There are many Bibles available that are less than half of that. Why are you using the Trump endorsed Bible? What do you say to critics who, who argue this is clear cut political pandering right here? What I would tell critics is we're going to teach American history in Oklahoma. So that includes the Bible, the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution and Bill of Rights. They are all included in this Bible that we've purchased. The Bible will be back in every Oklahoma classroom. President Trump Why is the bringing Trump Bible, though. Why not a cheaper Bible where you could save a lot of money in taxpayer dollars? I just told you, all of those documents are in this Bible that we purchased for our kids so that they could understand the full context of the founding documents. 